guys. Well, I literally just got in and noticed her big udder first. Boy, that's a pretty udder. All that mucus. So, midnight is in labor. You think, Mayflower? Mm -hmm. Baby girl, I figured you'd be going today. Twink's over there eating. You got a big udder, but it's not that big. Okay. Yeah, midnight's in labor. Yeah. Midnight's gonna have babies. It's a perfect day for it because it's like 50 degrees right now. Um, in a few days, it's gonna be freezing. Like freezing, freezing. Like lows down into. Like one, two, three degrees, not counting wind chill. So, it's baby time. Good girl midnight. She must have just had her water break there. And she's cleaning that up. Girl. You know, midnight might be small, but she is a nice looking doe. We are selling midnight this year, but we are going to milk test her first. Um, and everything, and we are definitely keeping a doe. If y'all remember Miley, who we lost, um, she, this is Miley's mom. So we are extremely excited about these kids. Trying to see if I can get a better view of her udder right now. See, it's not bad. It's a little low. Um, I don't know what the dogs are doing in the trailer. We have a couple dogs that we have to keep in the trailer when we're gone because they can tear out of kennels and... Uh, one of them is one of the ones that led the attack on Miley and Ellie. You're a good girl. I know, baby girl. That nice udder. Yeah, me. Wanna lick mommy? She says no. I know. Now y'all saw the video just the other day, um, of her udder. And how it wasn't nowhere near this big. And y'all see how, how big it's got now. Beautiful teat placement. Again, she's a little lower than what I'd like. But you can see how much it's expanded. There's even a tuft of hair that was way up in her groin that I missed on shaving. Look at the teat size. 
Those teeth are awesome. We have a hoof so far. Oh, exciting. <laughs> Good girl, Midnight. Good girl, Midnight. That a girl. That a girl. You got this. There's a nose and a tongue. You got it, baby girl. Good midnight. Yeah, you got this. Keep pushing, you got this. Good girl. You got it. Looks good, don't it, baby? Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Lick my hand? No, she said I do not want to lick your hand. Oh, good, we got the head out. Okay, I'm gonna pop. That's a big baby, Midnight. Yeah, it's a big baby boy. I'll let her get him dried off before I try to feel if he's pulled. Uh, the sire to, to her babies is either Eli or Paul. And, uh, of course, Eli is chocolate. And he's also pulled. So, <laughs> if any of the babies are pulled. And, yeah, I can tell she's definitely got at least another one in there. Big old belly. Um... If anybody's polled, we know it's Eli. If anybody's chocolate, we know it's Eli. But right now, um, yeah. 
right now while he's wet we don't know and a lot of times chocolates are boring black I'm seeing uh, uh, I'm seeing areas that make me think he might be chocolate if he's chocolate then he is Eli's but we will let mom get him dried off there we go yeah there we go big man yeah there's your mama good girl midnight cool babies since i just got home. all right guys i went back inside i left my phone inside when i went to get uh some of the other kidding supplies out uh, and I just went back inside and got another heat lamp um, for now they can have two and uh, we have a baby girl and she's a buckskin and the little boy is chocolate so we know his daddy is Eli that's the only possibility only way to get chocolate he will be available if anyone is interested um, he's available as registered. He's available as, um, here you go, baby. He's available as just a, a, a weather or unregistered for me. That's the same price, but, um, he will be available. Um, yeah, good mama midnight. But we're keeping the little girl. My plan is to keep a little girl from every registered doe. Midnight, or not midnight, I keep doing that. Mayflower is the only one we won't be keeping one off of. She's our unregistered doe. Uh, we use her as a pet and for milk. So... We still milk her and do all that stuff. And we're still waiting on Miss Twinkle over there, too. She's so tired of being pregnant. But, yep. Midnight is up, so it looks like we've just got these two cute buck doe twins. But, uh, I'm thinking of M names for this little girl. And, right now... I keep wanting to call her Macy, but we will see. We will see if that sticks or if we end up with something else. Hey, you girl. Come on, you girl. You a pretty little girl. Yeah. Hey, pretty chocolate boy. And he's possibly polled. We'll keep trying to figure that out later. As y'all know, Eli is cold. Eli is also a star B buck. Yeah. And Mama here will go on milk test. Uh, we're just going to do a one-day milk test, though. Um, but if she earns her star on a one-day milk test, then he will be a star B buckling. So... Judging from that udder, which I'm not going to show you right now because YouTube might want to kick it off um it's quite pretty quite full especially for just two they're decent size so i've got a towel from the house a big towel so i'm gonna try to help dry these kids off some more so they don't get chilled and we'll just keep a check on them Ooh, baby we did milk mom a little bit and give them some colostrum in the bottle so they have had some colostrum and they've been trying to find the teat. I don't know if they have yet or not actually found it. Uh, she did nurse off of the teat with me helping her. So, uh. <laughs> yeah, what a good girl. You teach a good girl. But yeah. So, two beautiful buck doe twins. To kick off kidding season 2024. Yeah. Oops. Don't 
Back up, Mama. It's okay. That cat ain't gonna do nothing. They both nurse now. You're all just trying to stay warm, and Mama's trying to have get and clean them off. Good girl, Midnight. Tell them, baby. Yeah. You like having babies at night, don't you? Yeah. My little chocolate boy. There's our little girl. Hey, handsome. Hi, handsome. Yeah. Oh, you ready for some more? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy.